Good morning, neighborhood community. Good morning. As you can all tell, I'm laying here with an ice pack on my head. I got another migraine. I don't know what's going on, what I've done differently. Yesterday I didn't have a migraine. The day before I did, and today I do. So, I don't know what I've done differently. Mm -hmm. But, I'm in bad shape today. I got a migraine, both my ears hurt, and I'm nauseous. I'm sorry. Now this might go on for a couple of weeks because of her new medication switch. The research that I have done into her new medication says that uh, uh, it has side effects like uh, uh, migraines and, and such that will go away after a while. And that's what the doctor wants her to do, to give it a chance. And um, we've been through this before. It's pretty tough. It's tough to do. Mm -hmm. so. Very tough to do. It hurts to move. <clears throat> it hurts to talk. I'm sorry. So, so Val's going to continue watching The Walking the Dead. The Walking Dead. And then more Halloween. And we'll watch some more Halloween. I'm going to try and finally do the, the baseboard. Organize a little bit more. I have a, another electrical job tomorrow. So, and you gotta mail this box tomorrow. And Val wants me to mail stuff. Alright, so it is 97 degrees according to Weather Service. That's going to be our peak of the day. It's not too bad out here. Uh, it's a little humid, but uh, not as bad as it's been the last couple of days. I'm not going to get to do my lawn today. I've decided I'm going to do um, my baseboard because it's going to be inside more and it'll be cooler inside so that's what I'm going to work on today got to pull out my saw which I just put underneath here chase all the spiders away because we have a real bad spider infestation here in Southern California and uh, see how much of that I'm going to get done today <clears throat> So I have a little bit of a dilemma here. This is my base, and this is my stair. I forget what this is called, but it's a panel that's on the wall. And uh, the original baseboard, of course, um, first of all, was a three three eighths of an inch lower to the floor, and uh, the baseboard was probably only two inches. I've got three inches now. And so I was trying to figure out how am I going to make this join and I was thinking of cutting along here and then having it butt at an angle, kind of already puzzling all that out, how I was going to do that. And I did a 45 here so that it would tight, it would be a little bit better, but none of it's really going to look nice. So what I think I really want to do is to cut this at a straight end cut and just cut a straight up this so this is going to hit it at a, at a perfect 90 
and uh, maybe round over the edge a little and paint it up nice. I, I cut this a little high, so I've got about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch from the bottom of this to the floor. So uh, eventually I'm going to have to put some uh, quarter round on that or replace this whole thing, which I would like to do with a, uh, a nice wood board, probably dark stained oak. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this so that I have something to cut to. I'm going to use my uh, multi-tool to cut that and see how straight a line I can cut. There's my cut line. Alright, I think I've cut through, but I'm not sure. easy cut it's just straight 90s on each end however I've got this uh, vent um, in the middle and I'm gonna have to cut the the base around the vent now then if you remember in the kitchen I actually moved the vent up so that it sits on top of the, the uh, baseboard but I was using a three and a half inch <clears throat> baseboard on this one this is only three inch I'm hoping that I can sneak it under there without a problem. If not, I'm going to cut the baseboard because I don't want to raise the vent. Too much work. All right, so I've cut it the to a length and it fits quite nicely. And as you can see, it comes right to the bottom of the opening. However, the frame goes quite a bit lower. So I'm gonna have to install it, measure it, mark it and cut it with the table saw. Okay, so I got baseboard done in the front room. So, solve my two major problems a lot easier than I expected them to be. Just had to make sure you measure correctly so that you cut around it. I'll still have to go back and paint the edge that's now unpainted. Uh, I need to fill holes and fill cracks and then uh, paint again. The uh, fireplace, I, I put base all the way up to the fireplace, even though I know it's, it's, I'm going to have to trim it back once I've decided what exactly I'm doing with it. However, um, I'm not going to permanently attach it, I'm not going to caulk it, so when I finally get to the fireplace, I will uh, just pop it off and trim it the way it needs to be trimmed. But nothing makes the floor look finished more than baseboard. Very nice. Hi everybody. <laughs> I am still fighting my migraine. Um, very tired. I took a nap and I woke up. Um, 
I'm waiting patiently for 8 o'clock so I can watch uh, Chris Hardwick with the uh, some of the cast of The Walking Dead talking about season 8 on AMC, which is on at 8 o'clock here in about 9 minutes or so. <laughs> and then after that, I'm probably going to uh, lay back down, put some more ice on my head because it hurts pretty bad. These lights are pretty bright right now. <laughs> I'll turn them down. Um, we, I know after we're done. You've been watching the storm all day. No, I've been back and forth between the storm and um, season seven of The Walking Dead because, <laughs> of course, i got to rewatch it. Of course you, you know. do. And I don't just rewatch the previous season. I go back on Netflix and I watch season one all the way through. So I'm on season seven right now. I think I have four more episodes to go or something like that. And uh, we're getting excited. Halloween is right around the corner. And um, we're already looking at Universal Studios. Yep, see if we can afford it. Yep. So we realize it's Sunday and we're supposed to be doing shout outs, but with both of us really not feeling good, we just kind of can't get to it right now. But there's a few people in the path of Irma. Well, let's just face it. All of Florida is in the path of Irma that we want to make sure that we mention. We got Margatech Clevenger, Bane Lawson, Death Bat. Yeah. Uh, Sherry Rayner, who said if she survives, she's going to videotape a little bit for <laughs> us. And we believe Daryl Roper's down in Florida. And um, so anybody else that I did not mention that is in Florida, um, our hearts go out to all of you and your family members, anybody that has family down there. They are going through a lot right now, and our hearts go out to them. If and anybody else is down there, let us know. Yeah, let us know. And um, if anybody catches anything on video and you don't have a channel and you want to send it to us, we'll be happy to put it up with your name that gave us the footage. Um, so anything you want to do, that would be fine. Um, we wish we could afford to donate to help, but, but we can't. So, you know, talking about it, sending thoughts and prayers, and asking everybody else to send thoughts and prayers is the best that we can do. We've been watching it all day long, on and off, and so. And we also want to thank Daryl Roper for uh, the information that he sent to us. So, Daryl, if you're watching, thank you very much. Time to say goodbye. Did we so. take too long? Did we put you to sleep? <laughs> she got mad at me when we turned the camera off. <laughs> oh, I used to go, wait a minute. Um, so, we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our, our video today. If you did, please leave us a comment. Please share our video with families and friends. Please give us a favorite, but most of all, please subscribe. And we will see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. I love you. Happy Halloween.